Welcome to the Midweek Refuel with Lucas and Color, where we strive to educate, inspire, encourage, and empower Lucas warriors all around the world. Today's Midweek Refuel is going to be about releasing the feelings that Lupus can put on you. Um, I'm in a, uh, a, a small group of women who have some chronic illnesses and some other issues regarding COVID. And we were discussing earlier today the importance of release and how invigorating it feels to release those feelings that lupus can bring lupus can bring on you so sometimes i think that we hold our feelings in as we battle lupus or on our lupus journey we sometimes hold those feelings in whether we are mad sad glad hurt we hold in all those feelings and we don't give ourselves the opportunity to release because we're always trying to present a strong person for other people. And sometimes we're trying to create a strong person for ourselves um, to get through that tough moment. I can do it. I'm, I'm strong. But what I want Lupus Warriors to realize is that even in your weakness, you are strong. And I say that because, like I say all the time, you've made it 100% of the days that you thought you could not make it. So that means that you don't have to put up a front for anybody or anything. You can release those feelings. And you know what? You don't have to release them in front of people. You don't have to you know, tell people how you're feeling or whatever have you. But at the end of the day, it's important to get those feelings out. If you were in pain, if you were angry, if you were sad because you have lupus, you have to get those feelings out in order to heal in some sort of way beyond lupus. So I want to encourage you all to release those feelings. We often talk about a brain dump. At the end of each day, when you're home, you've showered, you're in your comfy pajamas, you sit down and you get everything out of your mind for the day. So whatever was bothering you, whatever happened, you know, whatever took your focus off of being well beyond lupus, just jot it down on a piece of paper. And when you jot that down on a piece of paper, make note of it. Be mindful of it. Okay, yes, this happened. This is how I felt. Yes, that happened. This is how I felt. Well, I'm happy that happened because it made me feel good. And then I want you to take that piece of paper and boil it up and put it in the garbage, boil it up and burn it, boil it up and toss it in the toilet and flush it. This is a release. It sounds real simple, but it's a release for you to remove all that stuff from your mind. Put it on the paper and just let it go. And that is a form of release. If you can talk to somebody, of course, that's always good to talk to somebody. Even if you have to talk to yourself sometime, you know, just release it out of your body so that you can rest. And so you can just let go of things that you cannot control any longer. And it has no bearings on anything that's going to happen for the next day. So, you know, when things are done, they're done. All you can do is either learn from them and move on, or you can hold it in and get worse, a worse feeling than you did before it happened. So today's Midweek Refuel is about just releasing. Take moments in your day to release the feelings that lupus brings on you. So if lupus is making you sad, write it down on a piece of paper and then ball it up and throw it in the garbage. You know, it's really important for us to release that stress of holding all that in during the day. You know, we all go around and put on that face. We're always smiling and we're always so happy in front of other people. But then we come home and we take off that mask and we're drained. So in order for you to get some healing from that draining, it's important for you to release those feelings and allow yourself to breathe from them. So I hope that you've been having a good start to your week. Please remember, we are on the 28-day Winter Wonderland Get Moving and Walk Challenge. This is day two. Every day I've been putting myself out there showing you guys some um, stretches that I do 
up in the morning to get my body moving. And the way that I set the 28 day challenge up is to just get you moving. I'm not trying to make you a superstar or, or a weightlifter or anything like that. I just want you to get moving, get your body in some action. It makes a difference in how you feel. So the first week, is just simply stretching 10 minutes of stretching you can go on youtube and i use a lady called monica fit m-o-n-i-k-a-f-i-t she has some great 10 minute uh workouts and 10 minute stretches that you can do every single day so the first week is stretching the second week is walking whether it's inside your house for 10 minutes outside with the dog for 10 minutes or just around the house and up the steps for 10 minutes And then the third week, of course, we go back to stretching. Just stretching your body, maybe some yoga, maybe some Pilates moves. You know, little things to make your body know that you're still alive and you still want it to be well beyond lupus. And then the fourth and final week, we're gonna be walking 10 minutes every day. 10 minutes is all I'm asking you to give your body. You can spend 10 minutes for you. So that is our 28 day winter wonderland challenge this is our second year doing it we have about 20 people that are actually actively participating and actively logging onto map my walk or logging where um, we sent the workout log to so i want you to be a part of that even if you don't log just let me know that you're walking with us let me know that you're stretching with us let me know that you're doing some type of movement day to day to be well and be healthier beyond lupus so i hope to see um your private messages and your pictures and stuff that you're that you're moving that you're just getting your body moving beyond lupus it's going to make such a big difference in your lupus journey even though it might feel hard to do it's so important even if you just get up go to the bathroom brush your teeth shower get your hair combed put on some clothes and walk to the mailbox and walk back and forth to the mailbox three or four times that's enough movement for me i just want you to get into the habit of moving your body beyond the pains of lupus and you're going to see such a dramatic difference in your journey as you walk this lupus walk and that's not to say that if you do this workout or you do this challenge that lupus is going to go away you're not going to have any pain no that's not true We all know lupus is still there, but it's going to help you be able to fight just a little bit better and to feel a little healthier beyond lupus. So thank you, everybody. Remember to release those feelings. Do a brain dump tonight. Let it all out. Throw that paper away and get some rest. I so appreciate you all always tuning in for the Midweek Refuel, and I will talk to you all later.